Hey everybody. Um, out here doing a little squirrel hunting. I've been out here about an hour and a half. No sign of no squirrel or no groundhog. Um, I haven't even jumped any rabbits. But rabbit season don't open up until the 18th. Down below me, there's a creek that's got beaver in it that runs into the... Um, the lake down there I seen a couple but I couldn't I couldn't get a shot off or anything um, trapping season starts the 18th as well so I'll have my traps out but people think in a SHTF situation they're gonna grab their gun their rifle their bow whatever it is and they're gonna go out to the woods and they're gonna get all the game they can handle. You know, right now it's probably about 43 with the, the wind, the slight wind. It makes in the lower, I mean, upper 30s. And that's no rain, that's no snow. People don't factor that in. Um, people also don't factor in there's going to be other people out in these woods I was just down down in the field there coming out of the wood line and lo and behold somebody had throw, thrown corn out to bait the deer in which is illegal so I just moved out of that area in case the game warden comes through I want no part of that crap. But it's not as easy to hunt as most people think it is. You know, you have to get out there. You have to find the signs for them. You, you have to be patient. You're going to get cold. You're going to get wet. You're going to get frustrated because you don't see anything. But... On the upside, the more you are out hunting, you're strengthening your lungs by walking. You're strengthening your legs. You are watching for signs, so you're getting a tracking skill. You know where to go and where not to go. And people don't think about that. They don't think, oh, hunting, just going out killing an animal and that's it but you have to have the skills you have to be in shape in order to walk into the woods and and be able to hunt I'm sorry, no. but um i enjoy being out here you know like i said i've been out here about an hour and a half haven't seen anything but there's nobody else around. It's peaceful. It's quiet. It's relaxing. Yeah, in the distance, you can hear the, the highway. But, and you, another thing, when you are out hunting, there's houses everywhere. I'm looking maybe 250, 300 yards, there's an outline of a house. Which you got to be careful. You don't want to shoot in that direction. You got to know where the highways are. You got to know where the houses are. You know, you, you got to know where the lake is because if you shoot towards the lake or a river, you can miss the target and that you could hit somebody on a boat or something like that. So you always got to think ahead. It's just like I said, it's not grabbing your weapon and going out and start shooting. There's a lot more to hunting. It, but a lot of people don't think of it that way. Even on a bad day when you don't get anything, you're out, you're exercising, you're building your cardio, and you're watching. You're tracking skills. Okay, there's some here, there's some here, there's some fresh 
acorns been ate on this branch or in this pile. This has been dug up. You're, you're, you're learning where the animals have been coming to eat or to, you know, dig up food or the path they're taking. And that's important skills to have to know what you're doing because like I said there are going to be hundreds of people in a SHTF situation going out into the woods they're going to kill one another they're going to fall they're going to bust up their legs or and, and there's a lot of bad stuff can happen when you're out here in the woods but the more you are out in the woods you learn you learn what to do, what not to do. Granted, mistakes are going to happen. Accidents are going to happen. That's just a given. But the more you are prepared to be out in the woods, you've got a better chance of finding something and, and feeding your family. But I just wanted to make this short video I said it. I, I, I'm really enjoying today. It's not real cold. It's just comfortable. I'm just in a hoodie and a shirt. You know, no heavy duty pants, no heavy duty coat or anything like that. But it's a nice day. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. And I got my. That survival vest, you know, the photography vest slash turn it into a survival vest. I got that done. I was going to do it, but I'm going to have to get Aries to help me video while I explain everything. But I'll be posting that soon. Until then, everybody be safe and keep preparing. Bye for now.